What up guys, I'm your boy Jay Tunes, and welcome to another mod spotlight. Today we're going to be taking a look at a pretty cool mod that gives you a smartphone that you can do something pretty awesome with it. But before we actually get into it guys, down below in the description we'll have a link that sends you over to the mod. And you can go ahead and download it and try it out and let me know what you guys think about it of course. And guys, while you are down there, please smash that like button for more mod spotlights. Let's see if we can get 300 likes and if we can do that, I want to thank you guys ahead of time for hitting that like button. And also while you are down there guys, leave any mods that you would like would like to see a spotlight on down below as well that would be wonderful and great and I want to thank you guys again so much for all the support but anyway enough about all that good stuff let's go ahead and get into this awesome mod called Flappy World now this mod basically adds three items into the game and it gives you this cool little item I have in my hand which is a smartphone or a phone that have Steve that has Steve's face on it now basically it is what it sounds like it basically puts Flappy Bird in Minecraft. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the mod and go through with the mod, but you're going to need these items to actually be able to play Flappy Bird or Flappy World in Minecraft. So let's go ahead and take a look at the crafting recipes and then we'll actually take a look at the actual game, right? So basically you're going to need a phone uh, or a smartphone or a phone and to do that what you're going to need is six pieces of iron inside your crafting table with two pieces of uh, glass panes and also a redstone to actually make a phone then you're going to need to make a uh, flappy OS chip and the way you do that inside your crafting table is four pieces of redstone four pieces of iron one feather inside your crafting table to go ahead and give you that OS chip and then what you need to do is go ahead and grab those chips and that phone combine it to go ahead and get your flappy phone now, like I said, you get a, you get a smartphone, which is great. But with the smartphone or the phone, what you can do, your flappy phone, you're gonna go ahead and click on your phone, and it's gonna open up a little mini game. It's gonna open up Flappy World or Flappy Bird, whichever. It's it's Flappy World, but it, it's basically Flappy Bird. Let's go ahead and die here real quick um, with the Minecraft theme going on here with the big old creepers. They're they're huge. They're they're massive. The creepers, you know, the dirt blocks. It's the Minecraft feel of Flappy Bird. Steve's floating head thingamajig, which is kind of weird, but. But let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the UI for this game. We have three little buttons down here. The red, white, and green buttons would basi basically don't do anything. They're just here as decoration for the UI for the phone. Uh, but what basically happens, once you die or you fail, right? You, you guys play Flappy Bird. You're trying to make it through these tubes or these areas between the creepers and without hitting anything to get points, right? Now, uh, the cool thing about this here is that... We can, um, well, first off, to, to once you fail or you die, you can't hit any buttons to restart. What you have to do is hit escape and then re-click back into it, and the game goes ahead and starts. Now, the controls that you use for this is basically all you need is a space bar to make the head, you know, do the floating thing, jumping up and down just like this. So you can sit here and play Flappy Bird or Flappy World all damn day and try to get as many points as possible. Now, I've tried, and my highest score, as you guys can see, is right there. It's 19. I've been trying to get higher than 19, and it's not really, it's really not that easy. I'm pretty bad at this. Guys, if you guys try out this mod, let me know what your score is. But the cool thing about this mod is this. That first off, you get a game inside of a game. You can play Flappy World inside of Minecraft, which is awesome, but it also has a reward system to this. It has a looting system. So basically, the looting system works like this. Once you hit 10 points, you get one piece of coal, and then after every two points after 10, you get another piece of coal. So once you hit 10, you get one piece of coal, then you hit 12, you know, you'll get another piece of coal, and, and, and so on and so forth. So uh, 10, uh, once you hit 10, you start getting items, uh, you know, a uh, piece of coal, and then every two points you get um, more coal, and then once you hit 25, you get iron ingots, and then after every five points after 25, you get another piece of iron ingots, and then once you hit 35, you start getting your XP and your golden ingots, which is pretty cool, and then the hardest ones to get to is going to be 50. Once you get to 50, you start getting your emeralds and diamonds, and once it's basically a 75% chance once you get to 50 to actually get, I think it's diamonds, I don't know, if, yeah, it's diamonds. Well, you have a 75% chance to get either diamonds or emeralds once you get to 50 and above. So it gets harder, but it gives you an incentive, plus, you know, it's, it's fun as hell to play, and you also get things that you're going to need in Minecraft anyway, so it, it's, it's a plus, it's awesome, it's fun as hell, I think it's a pretty cool mod. And also, what's cool about this mod is this. I was reading the forms, and the creator's actually going to do more uh, games for the smartphone. So if you guys are, you know, 
it's already cool as hell with the Flappy World, but it's also going to have other games as well, which is great. Now, another cool little thing that you can do with this as well, if you have other people on your server or on your world, let me go ahead and just make a daytime here really quickly. If you do the, um, let's see here, slash scores command, and you go ahead and do this, you can actually see the highest score from the people on your world or in your world, which is pretty cool. My highest score is 19. Now, the other thing is with the reward thing is once I hit, you know, I did hit 19. So basically what happens is this. You guys will play until you get... Uh, you know, your 10, 20s, 35s, whatever, your 50s, your 200s. But once you get that and you're supposed to get your items, once you get out of the game, you press escape, the items will be around you on the ground and basically you just need to pick them up once you're done. So it has a looting system. It's a game inside of a game. It's fun as hell to play and it's Flappy Bird, which could be fun and frustrating at the same time. It kind of beats sitting inside of a, a shaft to get items when I can just play Flappy World all day. I don't know. Guys, if you guys try out this mod, let me know down below what your highest score is. And let me know what your highest score is for Flappy Bird. Uh, if you guys were any good at that. As you guys can see, I suck. I'm going to try and try to get better at it. But, but I suck right now. But let me know what your highest score is. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you guys did. And I will see you guys in the next one. Deuces, baby.